Jenna. They didn't make it. What the hell? Survivors found a pod, but they got caught before. How the hell did I kill the boss? It turns out it did. It killed him with one hit. Man, this endless mess, it really needs to get fixed. I didn't know you can kill that guy with one shot. I knew it worked with Brute Mothers, but not with this boss. Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Outriders build video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my third version of the Devastator Anomaly Bleed build. Uh, which pretty much helped me to complete all of the expeditions on T15 and get gold. Apart from the Eye of the Storm, that one I can't seem to get. Maybe I can do that with a good team. Or I believe you need a very, very good long range DPS build to do it solo. Uh, personally, I haven't heard of any Devastator doing that on gold. <laughs> By the way, a, a quick uh, also side note over here. This build does not use the emergency stance uh, bugged mod, okay? So for those who know that mod gives you pretty much god mode. I'm not going to go into details because I don't promote that sort of stuff here. So let's not waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so as you may have noticed, I do have some impressive uh, best time on the locations, and I'm actually impressed myself, by the way. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, a, another side tip over here, someone has commented me uh, on the previous version build that uh, the reason why I wasn't getting a lot of different types of other legendaries is because I haven't completed all of the expeditions on T15. And ever since I did this, and I did this yesterday, and I did a few more runs, I started getting new legendaries that I never got before. And this game has been out for almost a month and I've been playing since uh, day one. So thank you for that tip and uh, most probably it is the case because some people say it's not the case, some people say it is the case. Personally I believe it is the case because I actually got two more legendaries that I've never got before but just by doing three more additional expeditions after I completed all of it uh, and got it all on T15. So. If you can, try to do all the expeditions on uh, whichever tier you can do so you can increase the chances of getting better uh, legendary gear. Alright, so let's start uh, with my build. So I'm going to quickly run you through my class. I don't want to stop here a lot of time because uh, otherwise it's going to turn out to be a super long video. Uh, it is going to be already like 20-30 minutes I assume, but if I'm going to go into more detail here, this might be 40-50. You know? So these are the trains that I have. Uh, most important ones uh, that I personally love is the Paladin, which increases my anomaly power by 45% per uh, protection use, and that is the Golem. That's the only one that I have. Uh, then a uh, blood donation. This is my secondary heal ability. So blood blood donation. You are healed for 25% of your bleed damage. Bleed damage with status effects in combination. You do a tremendous amount of damage over time, and you heal a lot. So I'm going to show you that, demonstrate it with a lot more details. Uh, and the second one is Earth Heritage, which increases the uh, seismic skills base damage by 50% and as you can see in my skills earthquake is my main damage dealer uh, golem I use for neither emergency situations such as uh, I have I can't apply build, uh, bleed so I can't heal or I can't even kill something uh, and I, I'm, about, I'm about to die I use golem or once I'm facing the elite there's no other enemies around I use it for additional uh, power so this one is very uh, <laughs> very useful I mean as I said I don't use emergency stands mods which gives you this thing but it gives you it forever which is kinda like come on man anyway uh, endless mass uh, for additional damage for uh, crowd control for inflicting vulnerability and so on and so forth this thing also one shot sometimes brood mothers and sometimes even other guys I don't know uh, there's some bug going on with this endless mass to be honest but I use it to apply vulnerability to scale my damage even more like my moaning winds they can scale up to uh, 1.5 million 
and maximum I saw that I dealt was 1.8 million per blast and I do two blasts so you multiply that number by two so in my inventory uh, let me show you the mods real quick and then I'm gonna test it out and show you all of the damage that I deal so the biggest focus from the attribute points is the status power status power must be on my main weapon and my main weapon is the pistols <laughs> So for the armor, as you can see, anomaly cooldown reduction status power. Anomaly status power cooldown reduction. This is my best top three, although I'm still missing the gloves. I have healing received. Everything else, ah, and the boots. So I'm, I'm still going to replace those two as soon as I'm going to find a good replacement for this one. And I'm looking to get the seismic helmet so I can, uh, and I'm pretty sure the, uh, these three trains are going to be exactly the same as here. Uh, so yeah, once that happens, so I'm basically why is this thing is still third version because it's not a final version. You can scale this guy to do even more damage. So I can't wait to get uh, my hands on the final version. So with the pistols, I use Fortress. Fortress applies more damage to any damage that I deal. Skill, status power, uh, mods, everything. So that's why this is my main weapon. Um, my shotguns, I use them to make the Moaning Winds Blast. Although I did change my shotguns, if you remember, I had previously used uh, this one right here with the Shadow Comment, but since uh, I don't really use this gun, so the shot, that, that mod is pointless, so I've made myself a click combustion which also causes an explosion. So that's 100k plus 187k, and you get 487, uh, well, 480k damage, right? Plus all the debuffs that can scale to 1.5 to 1.8 million. So crazy. The shotgun, same thing, but it also applies in vulnerable. Vulnerable is a debuff, which basically makes you do 25% more damage against the target uh, that has the vulnerable applied on, right? So it, uh, hold on, let me go and show it. I think it's going to be best to show it to you like this. Uh, guides, enemies, status effects, vulnerable. Increase the damage received by 25% for 10 seconds. So uh, the target receives whatever damage, it is increased by 25%. I tested it and it works with everything. Status, with firepower, with anomaly power. So all, all three types. And uh, also it does an additional 120k uh, explosion damage with my Moaning Wind. So that's 400 uh, half a million right there without any debuffs. So for my armor, uh, additional anomaly power, 20k anomaly power for 6 seconds after initiating a critical shot. My pistols do critical shots also. Uh, pretty nice and pretty... Uh, well, the chances are to get the critical shot maybe a couple of seconds. Uh, seismic Commander and I use the Seismic Commander set, so I benefit from and get at that additional 50% damage uh, on enemies who have the effect of bleed. And uh, another 25% from Taint Blood. Captain Hunter increases your damage against the elites by 25%. I've tested it, it works with anomaly and skills, so any elite enemy that you're fighting, and uh, those are the skulls that you see on your map, they get even more damage uh, just by you having this mod right here. Uh, then we've got these gloves which I want to replace but they give extra damage to my earthquake and uh, make my earthquake to inflict bleed because bleed is another source of my heavy damage and another source of my healing and uh, the seismic boots that I also want to change at some point uh, but that gives me extra quake and extra quake so I can use the earthquake three times all right, so uh, let's start with the testings. First, I'm gonna show you my pistols in action. All right, this is my favorite expedition for uh, testing. So Heart of the Wild is my favorite uh, expedition where I do my tests. So with the Fortress, look at the damage, 25, 25, but if I change it, it goes to 18, 18, right? So again, 29, 20, ah, I applied bleed, right? Ah, vulnerability. My bad. That's why it deals more. Hey, cockroach. Get out of here. So, as you can see, there's just a crazy amount of damage. <laughs> Alright, hold on a second. Let me unload this shotgun because they have reloaded. Ah! 
actually, you know what? Let me get to the elite, and that's gonna be the best target practice. All right, here comes the elite. Let me show you how my moaning wins work. I think is the best way to start this. So I inflict earthquake. I put the golem. I inflict endless mass to make vulnerability, and look at the damage. Boom, 1.2. 1.4 million damage. On some enemies that scales even more. Did I do everything right? Uh, yeah, it had bleed and vulnerability. Oh, damn it, that thing is about to die. That's not good. Uh, you see my bleed damage is doing 21k because it had vulnerable as well. Actually, you can see that, still see the vulnerability mark. 27 cheese. Oh, he's just dying 61k 27k and that was my bleed in action and that was my uh, death chains so the death chains they did 60 to something thousand per second or millisecond and my bleed did uh, up to 30 40 thousand damage so that's a hundred thousand per like second or that was even millisecond I remember I was checking the time and it was actually millisecond so that's almost 200k uh, damage per second More bodies. and it, it just Around bleeds out mechanism. right so it's crazy oh yeah the endless them. mass by the way I'll be able to demonstrate the one shotting thing just to explain and I think it's a it's a bug so I hope they'll fix that at some point but as you can see the build on its own is extremely powerful boom moaning winds are just crazy and like for example, actually wait, let me not apply any, wait, he's still got vulnerability debuff, let it go away. I just want to show you how much the moaning winds will do uh, still. It should be for 10 seconds, why is it not ending? Weird. Oh, hold on a second. My weapon, okay, let's just... Boom, 400, 600, <laughs> whatever. Okay, one-shotting endless mass. It works with brood mothers only when she's casting uh, the uh, what's it called, man? Eh. Skin, skin, absorption skin or something. There, absorbing skin. If you put that there, she goes into that stone, and there's a 95% chance that she will just simply die. <laughs> But mainly, uh, she d uh, like there are chances when she doesn't die. But I don't really care if she dies or doesn't die. That thing still goes down in like seconds, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. If, but I, I still hope that this endless thing is gonna change, and they will fix that thing. All right. What else I did not show? I think I've shown everything. The amount of damage this build is doing is just crazy. <laughs> Actually, let's do for demonstration Pixie and Homestead, and you see you need 13 minutes in order to get gold, and it's a very, not an easy expedition, I would say. Uh, so this time I'll try to comment while playing. Usually I don't because I survive. I, I focus on survivability, but in this case I will try to actually comment and explain on what is happening. So. Uh, the moaning winds is you saw 1.2 1.4k uh, sometimes it deals more it all depends on the targets uh, resistance and that boom there we go 1.5 and 12k ah, I need to not make my guns load Whoa. mistakes mistakes huh Ah, oh, I forgot that there's another one. <laughs> okay, man. You see, if you're not careful enough, this is a build is very sensitive, and you can easily die this was important to many of if us. you don't focus. <laughs> you sure picked a bad so as I said, this build is very sensitive. You can easily die if you mess up. And by the way, if you failed an expedition, I'm not sure if you know by the uh, by now, but uh, if you do redo, look for this chest. It still gives you loot, and 
the amount of loot depends on how far you've progressed so if you die like for example at the very end it will give you much more loot just in case if you never knew that I figured this out just a few days ago so right now I'm actually not gonna comment because as you saw my playstyle was very bad when I was commenting because I'm trying to put my words together and try to survive or not to forget things to do so right now I'm just gonna stop chit chatting we're gonna do this expedition I'm pretty sure we're gonna get gold and then I'm gonna say a couple of words uh, well my feedback basically so let the party begin <laughs> There's pharaohs in the farm. No sign of the survivors.
more incoming. Well done, you found a pot. You're gonna give me a hard time for it, aren't you?
didn't make it. What the hell? Survivors found a pod, but they got caught before. How the hell did I kill the boss? That is a shame. Whatever huh? you recover from that pod, we'll use it to honor those poor lost souls. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me the Atlas Masters killed that guy with one shot? <laughs> Hold on, I need to rewatch the video. Hold up. <laughs> it turns out it did. It killed him with one hit. <laughs> Man, this Endless Mass, it really needs to get fixed. I didn't know you can kill that guy with one shot. <laughs> I knew it worked with brute mothers, but not with this boss. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I can't believe it. But anyway, uh, usually I take out the birds because they deal the most damage to me, and then I deal with the boss. That's how I do it. But uh, I'm I'm pretty much speechless right now. <laughs> You're gonna get in the legendary, please. Put seismic helmet, please. It's gonna be a perfect ending for this video. Come on. Ooh, that's another good weapon that I want to review and I got a copy and I want to try it out because uh, these uh, moaning winds they're kind of getting annoying although they're very powerful but this one daily substance critical shots activate unstable anomaly effect on your enemy causing them to explode deal 200k damage within 5 meters but there's also another one that can also trigger on critical shots and inflict bleed or fire so I want to try this one out and make it as my main weapon. But anyway, man, I, I'm still a little bit speechless about that boss. I didn't know he's gonna die one shot. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess I got my new best time now for this place. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered uh, by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you want your comments to be read, positive, negative feedback, whichever, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not swear. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Solo from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine once again. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. By the way, all the links are down in the video description uh, to our Discord channel, which where we have over 800 members. But in order to see the Outriders chat, you need to click on the user role called Other Games. Although I do plan to actually create a separate category for this game and make a breakdown of the chats, as mainly the Discord is uh, Fallout 76. And uh, if you want to see me live streaming on Twitch, feel free to follow me on Twitch. But have in mind, I don't have a fixed schedule as I'm uh, not a full time. So, once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good Monday night. Whatever you guys like it, at, I'll see you later. Bye. Jeez, I <laughs> still can't believe that boss died with one shot. Yo. From the ashes, we rose into the future.